As the country slowly begins to reopen, CNBC and Change Research are looking at the growing concerns on COVID-19 for voters in battleground states. Eamon Javers explains what, the, what they found. Uh, Eamon. Yeah, Mike, that's right. We're starting to see an interesting split here geographically in terms of some of those states that have experienced a real flare-up of COVID-19 and the other ones that are not seeing as dramatic a flare-up. You're seeing that in the respondents talking about uh, whether or not we're reopening too quickly. Take a look at the six battleground states that we surveyed here, and you see that Florida and Arizona, people saying that we are reopening too quickly, 50% in Florida, 49% in Arizona, where uh, you see the, the lower numbers, Pennsylvania, 21%. Uh, Michigan, just 16 percent. So you're seeing a real geographic disparity. You are seeing some optimism, though, uh, just a little bit uh, on the question of whether or not it's safe to fly. A slight tick up there, 28 percent now, saying they do believe it's safe to fly. That's well under the 50 percent figure who say that they believe it's safe to go back to work. So in that case, uh, you are seeing airlines being uh, one of the riskiest seeming categories for voters across those six battleground states. And then also on the political question of whether the president is pushing to reopen the country too quickly for political gain. 54 percent agree with that, 46 percent disagree with that. So by a, a relatively small margin here, uh, you are seeing people suggesting that the president is pushing to reopen for political gain. So some fascinating findings here. Politically, Sarah, overall, what this poll found was for the first time in all six of those battleground states, Joe Biden is now leading President Trump uh, in every one of them. So that's the first time that we've seen that. That seems to be responding to headlines around COVID and the protests around police violence, Sarah.